and I'm a nurse practitioner. Today I'm going to teach you how to care for your surgical drain. Awesome, my name's Taylor and I've actually never cared for a surgical drain before. What is it? The drains we're talking about today are called Jackson Pratt drains, JP drains, or sometimes Blake drains. Whatever they're called, these are drains that empty into a little bulb outside the body. The bulb provides a constant low suction to pull out air or excess fluid from your surgical site. This helps wounds heal faster and prevent some complications. It stays in until your provider removes it. You won't have to take it out yourself. Okay, well, I'm glad that I don't have to take it out myself. Um, I'm still a little bit nervous, honestly. Why is it so important to take care of your surgical drain? Yeah, well, caring for your drain is really important to ensure that it continues to work properly. Um, and it's totally natural to be nervous, so don't worry about it, I'm here to help. Awesome, okay. What will I need to properly care for my drain? You'll need a gauze dressing large enough to cover the site, tape or tegaderm, a measuring cup, a cotton tip applicator or swab, a safety pin, and if your team wants you to flush the drain, you'll also need some normal saline flushes. Well, thank you for showing me all these supplies. Will I be provided with these when I return home or is it something I need to find on my own? They should be provided at most hospitals, so make sure you double check before you leave. Um, if they are not provided, they're relatively easy to find from stores. In addition to the supplies, you'll also need to keep a paper log, which is where you keep track of the details of your drain care. It will look like this with the separate columns, where you'll provide the date, how much is coming out of the drain each time you empty it, and what the drainage looks like. Okay, so I have my supplies and I have my log. What's next? So first, you'll want to wash your hands with soap and water before touching the drain. You don't have to wear gloves, but you can if you want to. Okay, my hands are freshly washed. What do I do now? Great. Now gather your supplies. They don't have to be sterile. Go ahead and remove the dressing. Okay, like this? Yep. All the way? All the way off. Okay. Perfect. And now you can unpin the drain from your clothing. Okay. Perfect. Now, if your team has told you to strip the drain, you can do that by squeezing the drain with an alcohol swab. Right here. Okay. You're gonna squeeze and pull towards the drain, just like that. Gotcha. Go okay. ahead, your turn. Like this? Yep. And just pull towards the bulb before you empty it. Just okay. Like that. Now to empty the drain, open the stopper, slowly pulling it away from you like this, and make sure you point it away from you so it doesn't splash in your eyes. Okay, makes <laughs> sense. Okay, I'm gonna just try it on my end. So I'll just pull it off like this. Yep. Oh, it's a little hard to get out. Okay, and then away from me. Yep, perfect, just like that. Now empty the contents into the measuring container, and we're gonna be doing this at least twice a day. Is it okay to squeeze it or should I just let it? Okay. Yep, that's perfect. And remember in your log, you're going to want to note how much came out of the drain and what type of drainage it is. So if it has pus or if there's blood, what color, things like that. So I'd log today's date, 12 1, and the color, orange, and 10 milliliters. Great. Now to finish up, you'll squeeze the bulb while it's uncapped. Yep, you really want to compress it all the way. While squeezing, go ahead and recap the bulb. Like this? Yep. And that makes suction. Wow, okay, awesome. Great job. Now you're gonna pin the bulb back to your clothing using the plastic tag. This avoids it accidentally pulling out. Gotcha, makes sense. Discard the drainage into the toilet. Rinse and wash the measuring container with soap and water and then go ahead and wash your hands with soap and water again. So you're gonna clean the skin around the drain site with the cotton tip applicator or gauze that you've moistened with some saline. And just go ahead and wipe in a circular motion and be careful to not tug on the sutures. Great, just like that. And check the skin around the drain to make sure it's not red and it's not tender and there's no swelling. And we're also checking to make sure that there's no drainage coming from around the tube. Awesome, okay. That wasn't too hard. And now go ahead and place a clean dry gauze over the drain tube site. 
and secure it with some tape. Sometimes there's a little slit in the gauze, which is perfect. And if not, you can go ahead and use scissors and make that slit before putting it on. Perfect. Like this? Great, and yep, just secure it with some tape again. And now wash your hands one last time. Okay, that wasn't too hard. So is there gonna be specific times of the day I do that according to my physician? Yes, they should tell you, and if they don't, please ask. Um, you'll also wanna dress your drain site. So starting the day after surgery, you'll wanna change the dressing every day or if it becomes soiled. Okay. You should definitely notify your provider if you have any large increase in drainage or if the drainage becomes bright red in color, if the drainage becomes very thick and blocks the tube, if there's any redness, tenderness, swelling, or warmth around the insertion site, if the drainage becomes foul smelling, if the fluid is leaking from the drain tube insertion site, if the bulb is not holding suction, if there's a sudden increase in pain that's not relieved by the pain medicine ordered by your provider, or of course, if the drain falls out. You should probably wear loose clothing as well while you have the drain in, which will prevent kinking of the drain and skin irritation. Perfect, I totally understand. Thank you for teaching me that today. I learned so much. I feel really prepared to care for my surgical drain now. Of course, and if you have any questions, just call your doctor's office because we're here to help. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.